Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And now that we've gone through the basic, the basic cups of 50cc, it's time to look at the DLC stuff that is just open in this version. Got to play as Toad, which is strange that you can't select which color of Toad to play as. But anyway, let's start off with the egg cup. Yoshi Circuit. Oh my goodness, that building is a Yoshi. And also, the map is a Yoshi, which is pretty cool. I'm sure it took people, some people some time to actually figure that out. Because you don't really pay that much attention to the map when playing Mario Kart. Let's go. Just gonna jump that bit there. Don't know how much that actually helped me, but you know. It's still probably saving a little bit of time. Every frame counts. How did that even... Miss my bomb. How did that miss that? There we go. You can also make a little shortcut here if you have like a boost, but right now is not a good time to make that jump. Because the waterfall pulls you down really fast. But if you do have something to go fast, you can go through that. Coin. Just gonna go carefully around here. Look at the Yoshi waving. Let's I go final lap. Oh, there's the back of the group, which means that they're going to get big faster than me. So I can't keep up with them. Especially if they get a rainbow star, star power, that one. I mean, rainbow star is a star power. Jump, jump, jump. Hop, 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 hop. Missed. That's a shame. Especially with this. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness, he got a star power. Go, 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 go. And we're done. With that one, at least. Excite Bike Arena. Which also... Like, parts of the track actually shift around every time you play it. I'm pretty sure. So, if this looks different from whatever you look at normally, that's because the track changes. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm so I'm certain it changes every single time. It might have like a roulette of like a, a rotation of what it looks like every time, and it might also have like specific um CC like setups but yeah I'm very used to this one being the first one af after the finish line area it's 
so strange when it changes though. This is a good song, oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. And obviously, Excite Bike is a game for the NES. This is based off based off of that. I was caught up to the back of the pack. Oh, boombox. Let's see if I can keep it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I actually kept it. Wow. Nothing stole it. Now that I've said that, it's going to get stolen from me. Probably. Maybe. Am I actually going to have a use for it, though? Okay, I'm back. Right back into the... the thick of it. After my laptop froze for a little bit. It got better. But anyway, and back from wholesome Twitter tweets and Toda in golf. Let's go. It's cool to see in New Donk City. It's going to be a playable level now though. Six months ago. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway. Dragon Driftway. Oh my goodness, that temple, like, it's so cool. Oh, just such good level designs of the world. Can I, can we just have Mario Ultimate now? I just want Mario Ultimate. Just want to live in Mario. Okay. Also, this dragon, I believe, is a based on a dragon boss from Super Mario Galaxy 2. You have to go upside down or on the bottom of parts of it as well. And then we jump over here, and this should wrap around to back to the beginning. And there we go. Lots of cool details all over the place. I'm gonna also the pictures on the wall. Pretty cool as well. This is so simple without having to worry about anything else, just going through the level. Gonna let that go. Probably shouldn't have done that, but still, just gonna do it anyway. Oh my goodness, I can see people halfway through. Oh my goodness, I can see people at the very beginning. Okay then. That too, I guess. It's kind of more impressive to see people at the beginning where I'm up to than seeing them halfway through. Oh my goodness, really? I would have done so much better if I didn't get struck by lightning. Ooh. 
lightning bringing uh, rubber banding to you in a in the form you love the most. Crash into everything. It's fine. But there we go. Next race. Mute City. One of the best levels for grinding coins. Just in case you wanted to know that, because you will need to grind, grind coins. Unless you play this game a lot in multiplayer. If you want, want to unlock everything, that is. Because these panels on the ground, all around the place, if you go along them, give you coins as well. But I really like these, the F-Zero levels in this because they make you go fast. Just boost after boost after boost, basically. And the music is amazing as well. Let's get some coins. Like that, got up to seven. There's also a few shortcuts that are around, but I don't know if I'll be able to take them all. Since some of them are fairly difficult and probably need, yeah, items for, to actually get through that properly. Or just a faster CC. There we go, that's the first lap. Also, the starting line is also a boost, which is pretty cool. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. Nope, don't. Nope, nope, don't. <laughs> That's my reaction to something. An item coming towards me to hit me. Okay, up to 10 coins. Let's go. Go the normal way this time, and you can see people on the ceiling. Because, of course, you can. Show me your moves! This is so cool. It's strange, though, because Captain Falcon isn't a playable character in this. Maybe one day. Mario Kart Ultimate. Go! Oh my goodness, that's even a planet that you can see from here. Which is also pretty cool. I can't even see anyone on the ceiling anymore. I'm just too far ahead. And also, done. So, there we go. So there we go. Got the egg cup. And another vehicle customization. Professional Mario Kart driving. Ah, uh, something. Hang on. I still let it go round again. Professional Mario Kart. Ah, uh, dra kart driving. Distinguished driver. It's hard to read when it's turning. But there we go. Let's go back in. And do another cup. With Cooper Trooper, the classic. Classic smooth driver. Let's go into the Crossing Cup. Which is also really cool, because the Animal Crossing level is cool, and I'll explain why once we actually get there.
Baby Park, yay! The most chaotic, all over the place level. Which really doesn't make much sense, to be honest. So, it's a very small loop with seven laps. Oh my goodness. I hope you like getting hit by items because this, this, oh my goodness, this is just give everyone items and, oh my goodness, you could just roll a dice and have a better chance of winning by getting like, I don't even know, it's just so silly. I mean, you're still probably going to win this, but in multiplayer. It's just complete chaos. It's fine against AI most of the time. But it's it's so luck based because of items being the primary primary thing. Which I means it's a good concept in theory, but in, in execution it's just far too much chaos. It's far too much chaos. You also have to make sure that you stay in first by keeping an eye on the number at the bottom of the screen. Because everyone is overlapping everywhere. And it's difficult to actually see who's in first. Lap six. You just kind of get items and throw them out instantly. I just hit myself, didn't I? got a boom box. So if there's any blue shells, if there's any blue shells, there's one right now. Please nobody steal my thing. Got rid of that and let's go. Sorry, somebody bumped my car and the alarm went off. Definitely not just me pressing the button in the game. Cheese land! Everything is cheese. If only. Just want to eat everything again. I'd probably get sick from eating this much cheese though. I mean, I'd probably get sick from eating too much of anything, so. Also, I'm pretty sure it's not actual cheese. It's just like a desert that looks like cheese. But also, is it cheese? Is it cheese? Imagine if there was cheese land, then there would be some sticky cheese as well, because there are a lot of cheeses that are sticky, if I actually know what I'm talking about. It seems too dry to be an actual cheese. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with desert that looks like cheese. Also, I'm gonna take this little ramp up here, which is probably a waste of time considering how much I've bumped into things. There's, but there are quite a few of these ramps that are just hidden around, like that one there as well. Oh, get up there, please. I like how there's forks and just, yeah, forks in the ground as part of the decorations. There's also this over here, which isn't that great of a shortcut unless you have some sort of speed boost. I like being able to point out the shortcuts without having to worry about losing time going through them without an actual power-up. The music's funky, though. Also have to be careful of the chain chomps that are around. Oh, don't crush me! Don't fall off! Can I go for this one since it's probably alright if I don't bump to those cheese rocks? Oh, cheese rocks. That's like Mario Odyssey. I don't know. Mario Odyssey came after this, so maybe. Maybe it's a connected thing. Maybe this is... Like, they could have had a, a, a kingdom like this in Mario Odyssey. Kind of, maybe. I guess it's basically just a luncheon kingdom. Up, if, if if we want more words are hard. 
It's basically just a Lunchy Kingdom if it was going to be a level in Mario Odyssey. But it has the cheese rock, so... Oh, I never noticed that there is actual stuff, like actual mushroom tents, down there before. Oh my goodness, those are like pizza slices. <laughs> Have I never seen some of these things before? Hang on, there are mushroom tents up here. Have I not seen those before? Have I not seen so many things in this game? Anyway. Your Mario Kart has run into an error. Please restart. Wild Woods. Where the starting line is actually starting off in anti-gravity stuff. Which is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, is the f it's like the Mario Kart banner is a hammock thing by the looks of it. Anyway, let's get started. Let's bump into you for some speed. And let's go. Because this is a very cool looking level. It's got the shy guy look about it again as well with some of these places down here. These houses are definitely shy guy houses. It's strange though because we haven't seen those types of houses in any other Mario games as far as I'm aware. And I feel like some of these ideas are really good in Mario Kart 8 but haven't been used anywhere else. Mario Kart 8 is special. Oh my goodness, the wood, this, these houses down here are also pretty cool. This would make a really cool level in a Mario game. Every Mario Kart track ever. Okay, let's go. Blue shell, of course. I can't see. Okay, we're good. Oh, so that's a cool water wheel up there. Oh my goodness, please. <laughs> Let me go. What's this water slide thing through the tree thing? It's very cool. And the mud here with the leaves on it. There's so many details. I just make this beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Final lap. There's also barrels here, but I don't know if it's worth breaking any of these barrels. I shouldn't have tried that. I mean, it's 50cc, so I don't have anything to lose by doing that, so... Also, the boombox is an extension of your horn, your car horn, as well. So it plays your car horn effect whenever you use it. Go... Go fast. I like those elevators. I want an elevator like that. Maybe? Maybe I don't. I want a Mario game with an elevator like that in it. Oh, Blue Shell. Hello. Next race. And I think we're actually up to the last one of this thing. Am I right? Am I wrong? I am not sure. Yes, we are. Animal Crossing. Which is an interesting course because every time you play it, it's a random season, basically. So there's four different variations of this course. Which all play about the same, but with a few, like, alterations to the look around them in the style. But it's very cool seeing all these characters as well on the edges of the track. And the fruit in the trees. Man, I wish I had apples on my island. It's the one of the fruits I don't have. 
And there's also balloons that we can pop in mid-air, of course, because that's a normal part of Animal Crossing is popping balloons for the gifts. Shells on the beach. Oh, hello, KK. Slider. Katom Nook. Very nice. Oh my goodness, Mr. Rossetti. Also, the coins are actually different. They have stars on them because they're bells. The Able Sisters. Oh my goodness. Very nice. I'm not going to be able to name every character. I don't even know if I know all, of, all the more notable ones. Also, if there's fruit on the ground that you can go into, it's basically a free mushroom. Wow, that was rude. The music, though. The music, though. Oh my goodness, blue shell, please, no. Oh, and I just realized that also, uh, as well as these uh, coins being bells, you've also got the bell bag icon for the coins at the bottom of the left of the screen as well. And I think the item get sound effect is also different, possibly, when the roulette is going. I might be wrong, but anyway. It's so cool. They did some really cool things in this game. Oh my goodness, turning. This game is beautiful. I was hoping to get another item from that, but I missed. That's fine. Oh my goodness. I wonder if we'll ever get a Animal Crossing VR game type thing, maybe. But anyway, that's the end of that. Just wanted to point out the music here is different as well. It's so cool. And that's the leaf cup. And a vehicle customization. It's the same type of cup as um, the egg cup, just with a different icon on it as well. But anyway. But I think with that, that is it for now. Probably. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.